Okay, we will now proceed to our node structure. So we will now know how our node structure works. Okay, as what we can see, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 6 index of uh, rows. And uh, as what we all know, we have 8 uh, column index. Because it's a 6 by 8 sparse matrix. So, okay. Let us uh, explain how this works. So, our uh, array, we have uh, index 0, column 0, and we have a value here one here we can see that here our non-zero sparse elements because it's a node structure and uh, again in the zero row and the fourth column we have a value of two so it's here two and uh, the rest is null so uh we will proceed to row 1, column index 2, we have a value of 3. Again, it's there, 3. And now, after, the, uh, after that, we will proceed to row 1 again, column index 5, we have a value of 4. As you can see, we have 4 here. And the rest is null. So uh, we'll proceed to row index 2 and column index 0. So we have a value of 5. Here, here is the 5. So row index 2 again and column index 2. We have a value of 6 here. Have C. So and the rest is null. After that, we'll proceed to row index 3 we have a value row index 3 and column index 2 we have a value of 7 here value 7 a row index 3 and the column index 4 we have a value of 8 here's the 8 so uh, the rest is null and now we will proceed to row index 4 Column index 4, we have a value here of 9. Here is the 9. Uh, row index 4 again and column index 5, we have a value of 1. Here is the 1. So the rest there is null. Again, we will proceed to row index 5. Column index 0, we have a value of 2. Here, here is the value of 2. So, row index 5 again, column index 4, we have a value of 3, and the rest is null. Okay, the rest is null. So, that is our row list. This 0 and this 4 will be our column list and uh, this 1 and this 2 will be our value list. Okay, that will be our node structure. We will now proceed to our triplet structure. So here, that is our row number. Or no, row index here's our column number or column index here is our value okay so as what we can see in our triplet structure here it did this uh, that is our triplet structure 
So our row 0, column 0, value 1. Row 0, column 0, value 1. So row 0 again, column 4, value is 2. Row 0, 4, column, value is 2. Row 1, column 2, value is 3. Row 1, column 2, value is 3. Okay. After that, we we'll proceed again to row 1, column 5. There's a value of 4. Row 1, column 5, value is 4. And now, now that we're done in the row index 1, we we'll proceed to row index 2 column 0 our value is 5 row 2 column 0 value is 5 row index 2 column index 2 our value is 6 value is 6 row index 3 row column index 2 our value is 7 7 Row in this three, column index four, our value is eight. There. So again we'll proceed to row index four, column index four, our value is nine. Value is nine. Row index four again, column index five, our value is one. Value is one. So Row index 5, column index 0, our value is 2. Value is 2. Row index 5, column index 4, our value is 3. So, that was our uh, triplet structure. So, we will now proceed our uh, code created code earlier so it's here we will explain this how our code works so as what we can see uh, here this is our uh, code for um, inputting values so our uh, so you can see we have two loops the other one is a nested loop and the second is a full loop so we will explain this how it works the first decision is there so you can see x is is, is equals to zero s zero less than six okay it's true since it's true, the program will let the user to continue inputting values. So, we will proceed to the second loop. Here, our y is equals to 0. Is 0 less than 8? Okay, true. Since it's true, it will uh, print the value for the uh, array and variable y will increment now because our decision is uh, y plus plus here so we will proceed our y now becomes uh, the value of y now becomes 1 here is 1 less than 8 ok it's true since it's true it will accept the command and will print the value and uh, since it's true variable y will increment now because it's our uh, decision is y plus plus y now becomes 2 is 2 less than 8 okay it's true so since it's true again variable y will increment because it's y plus plus y now becomes 3 is 3 less than 8 okay we all know it's true 
we will uh, we will bob around this uh, loop because it's true we will uh, it will accept again again the value so it will print after that since it's true variable y will increment y now becomes 4 is 4 less than 8 okay it's true since it's true it will uh, let the user input value so variable y will increment y now becomes 5 so it's 5 less than 8 okay since our decision is true it will print again and uh, variable y will increment y now becomes 6 is 6 less than 8 okay it's true since it's true there to uh, let the user again input values and the variable y will increment y now becomes 7 is 7 less than 8 okay it's true it will uh, print the uh, value again and uh, let the user input again and uh, the decision will be uh, y plus plus y now becomes 8 is y less than 8 is 8 less than 8 so we all know it is false because it is equal so since it's false it will uh, exit the loop and terminate it and go back to this first loop. Our x uh, our layer value is 0. Since our decision here is x plus plus, value of x now will become 1. It's 1 less than 6. Okay, it's true. Since it's true, it will proceed again to the second loop. And our process will be still the same here, up to here, and here. And after the condition becomes false, it will terminate the loop again and go back to the first loop. Our uh, value for x now will increment, value of x will become 2, it's 2 less than 6, okay it's true. And it will go to the uh, second loop again. And the same process goes on until the deci decision becomes false. It will exit the loop and uh, go back to the first loop. X will increment. X is equals 3. Is 3 less than 6 since it's true. It will go to the second loop again. And uh, the process will be still the same until the decision becomes false. X will be increment now. X is equals to 4. Is 4 less than 6? Since it's true, it will go to the second loop again. And uh, repeat the process until the condition becomes false. So the value of X will increment x now will become 5 is 5 less than 6 okay it's true since it's true it will go to the second loop again and i repeat the process until the condition becomes false uh, after uh, the condition becomes false it will exit the loop and increment the value of x value of x now will become 6 is 6 less than 6 as we all know 6 is equal to 6 so it's false it will terminate the loop so uh, the value for our array now are done that's how our array works so now we will proceed on explaining how our array print elements in matrix form okay
we will see now and uh, we will explore how our code works so our first array here we have two uh, loops again here our condition so since our uh, array the first decision is uh, x is equals to 0 here is 0 less than 6 okay since it's true it will uh, proceed in the second loop here is the second loop we go here y is equals to 0 is 0 less than 8 okay since our uh, decision is um, true it will uh, execute the command and print f person d for the value after that it will return to the loop it will revolve around this loop so value of y now will increment y now becomes 1 is 1 less than 8 okay since it's 2 it will execute the command again and uh, print the value for matrix form after that it will return to the loop and the condition is y plus plus y now becomes 2 is 2 less than 8 okay it's true since it's true it will uh, print this this command and uh, return to the loop our y now our decision now will uh, increment it's uh, y plus plus y will become 3 and is 3 less than 8 okay it's true since it's true it will print again this command and uh, continue the loop I'll go back to the loop y will increment y becomes 4 it's 4 less than 8 okay it's true again it will uh, execute this command again and uh, go back to the loop y will increment y becomes 5 it's 5 less than 8 okay it's true since it's true it will uh, print this command again and go back to the loop our condition is y plus plus so y now becomes 6 is uh, 6 less than 8 okay it's true it will print again this command and uh, our value for y now will increment y becomes 7 is 7 less than 8 okay it's true it will execute this command and go back here in the loop our condition is y plus plus our condition will become y is equals 8 is 8 less than 8 okay we all know it's false so it will terminate the loop this loop and print this command outside of this loop it will print new line so it will since it's false it will terminate the second loop loop is terminated now and it will print new line it will return to the first loop here first loop so our decision there is x plus plus so our x now will become one is one less than six okay it's true since it's true it will go here our second loop and uh, execute this uh, decisions here same process until the decision becomes false after the decision becomes false it will uh, terminate the loop after terminating the loop it will go here go back in the first loop so condition is x plus plus value of x will become 2 
S is 2 less than 6? Okay, it's true. It will go to the second loop again. So, uh, our uh, process will be still the same until the decision becomes false. After the decision becomes false, it will terminate uh, the second loop and go back to the first loop. Value of x will become 3. Is 3 less than 6? Okay, it's true. Since it's true, it will go to the second loop again. And we'll execute these decisions and commands. Okay, until the decision becomes false. Okay, the same process. After the decision becomes false, it will print this uh, new line. And uh, it will go to this first loop again. Value of x now will increment. Is 4 less than 6? Okay, it's true. We'll go to the second loop. And we'll execute these commands here. Here. So, after the condition becomes false, it will print new line. And go back to the first loop x will increment x becomes 5 is 5 less than 6 okay it's true it will go to the second loop again and we'll execute these commands here here until the decision becomes false after the decision becomes false it will terminate the loop and print new line after that it will go back to the first loop value of x will increment x now becomes 6 is 6 less than 6 okay it's false since it's false it will terminate the uh, two loops so our uh, decision is done printing array elements in matrix form is done okay we will proceed now in printing uh, non-zero elements Okay, here's our code again, and we will now uh, observe how our code works. So, our uh, okay, as what you can see here, this is our code to print non zero elements. So we will explain how this works. As what we can see, we have three statements. We have a nested loop, we have a for loop, and an if statement inside the for loop. Okay, so we will uh, start in the uh, first loop, outside loop. Our decision there is x equals 0. So the value for x now will become 0. Is 0 less than 6? Okay, it's true. Since it's true, it will go to the second loop. Value for y is 0. So we will uh, see this command is 0 less than 8. Okay, it's true. Since it's true, it will, uh, okay, since it's true, we will proceed to this statement. If key is uh, not equal to zero, uh, as what we all know, this is our uh, whole uh, matrix here our key is equals temp x y that uh, that was our uh, two subscripts so value per y now will temporarily store to key okay 
our k now becomes 1. So, here, here is the 1. Is 1 uh, not equal to 0? Okay, since it's true, it will print this command. Printing the non-zero element. Okay. Since it's true, it will execute this command and uh, print the person d for non-zero value. After printing it, it will go back to this uh, loop. And the condition here is y plus plus. And value for y will increment becomes 1. Is 1 less than 8? Okay, it's true. It will go again to this statement. And uh, will uh, temporarily store the value for key. So our value for key is 0. Since the value of key is 0. Is 0 less than. Uh, not equal to zero here our statement okay since it's false it will not execute this command here it will return to the condition there y plus plus so our value our uh, value for two will increment two becomes y becomes two and is 2 become is 2 less than 8 okay it's true so since it's uh, true it will go to this uh, decision again so our value for key now is 0 it will store 0 so it's 0 less than 0 okay it's false since it's false it will not execute the command and uh, go back to the uh, return to the condition y plus plus our value here become 3 is 3 less than 8 okay it's true since it's true it will go to this condition if statement it will store 0 for the key is 0 less the not equal to zero okay it's false since it's false it will not execute this command here and uh, return to the condition y plus plus y now becomes four is four less than eight okay it's true since it's true it will go to this condition again it will store two as a key is two less than not equal to zero okay we all know that two is not equal to zero so since it's two it will uh, execute the command and print percent d for non-zero value after printing it it will go back to the condition y plus plus so non-zero element is printed it will go to the condition here, y plus plus, y now becomes 5, is 5 less than 8. Okay, it's true. It will go to the second loop again. After that, it will uh, uh, go to this condition. Key, our value for key now will store 0. Is 0 not equal to 0? Okay, it's false. Since it's false, it will not execute that command. Since it is a uh, zero element, so condition is y plus plus y becomes six is six less than eight. Okay, since it's true, it will go to this uh, condition again. This statement it will store zero. Is zero not equal to zero? okay it's false since it's false it will not print this command and go back to y plus plus condition is why our value for right now becomes seven is seven less than eight since it's true it will go to this statement again key restore zero for key 
uh, is 0 not equal to 0 okay since it's false uh, it will not execute the command and go back to this condition again y plus plus our value for y becomes 8 is 8 less than 8 okay it's false since it's false it will go to this uh, outside to this loop outside this loop this loop is here it will print this command new line it will print new line so it will go back to the uh, first loop because it's false it will terminate the loop and after the loop is terminated it will execute the, that command new line after printing new line it will return to this first loop so after uh, returning our condition is uh, x plus plus our x now will increment x now become 1 is 1 less than 6 okay since it's true it will go to the second loop and will uh, execute this command here here until the condition becomes false and uh, we'll store these values for key here after the condition becomes false it will print new line and to print a new line it will go back to the first loop our uh, x now will become 2 it will increment 2 is 2 less than 6 okay since it's true we'll go to this uh, second loop again and work there these decisions until the uh, decision becomes false so until after the decision becomes false it will print this new line and exit the loop it will go back to the first loop it will uh, execute the command x plus plus x now becomes 3 is 3 less than 6 okay since it's true it will go to the second loop again and will execute these commands here here so it will store the values for key until the condition becomes false here becomes false so the condition becomes false it will print new line and will go back it will exit go back to the first loop our condition is x plus plus our x becomes 4 is 4 less than 6 okay it's true since it's true it will uh, go here in the uh, second loop the same process goes on till the condition becomes false here becomes false so after the condition it will print new line and will increment x value for x now become 5 is 5 less than 6 okay it's true it will go to the second loop again and we'll store these uh, key values so after storing that till the condition becomes false here it will print new line and go back to the first loop our condition is x plus plus x now becomes 6 is 6 less than 6 okay it's false since it's false it will terminate this entire uh, loop so printing non-zero elements now are done now that we're done in printing uh, non-zero elements we will now proceed in uh, printing uh, array elements in triplet form so uh, our condition here is uh, still the same our process only that we have and a few changes here our command is uh, print a percent d temp xy 
this is just uh, the tiny changes happened here so the process are still the same in printing array elements in triplet form so that's how it works okay now that we're done already in explaining our uh, code for uh, C language in printing sparse matrix okay so what have we learned for me what I've learned here uh, so considering that our matrix is a uh, size is 6 by 8 containing only 12 non-zero elements what I've learned here in this matrix only 12 spaces are filled with non-zero values and the remaining spaces are filled with zero so critically it means we allocate uh, 48 because uh, 6 times 8 is equals to 48 times 2 it will be 96 bytes of space in order to store this integer matrix so if we're going to access these 12 non-zero elements we have to undergo scanning for 48 times so imagine the hassle for uh, only accessing these 12 non-zero elements hence what I've learned here to make it simple we use a 6 by 8 sparse matrix to avoid wastage of time and uh, memory computer memory okay that's it